So I got mail today. Yay! Hello, everybody. Welcome to September 11th, 2014. My name is Shadow, by the way, and uh, it's Thursday. Now, I did say yesterday I was going to try to make sure if I got, you know, the specific thing. I think I spoke about it, but briefly. But the thing I was checking on, I have I checked it, but it wasn't entered yet, so I have to check it after this vlog. But there's something I just have to talk. I just have to talk about. Uh, other than the two uh, packages I got right now. Now you're gonna see what those packages is tomorrow because well, I'm gonna do an unboxing of both of them. Anyways, <laughs> okay. Today or last night, really after the vlog. The 3DS demo was released, but somehow, some way, there were some people that got early access or something to the actual full game. I don't know how. And, of course, it's a 3DS version of the game. Uh, Japanese, by the way, version of the game. And they revealed, like, every damn character. All the characters that was revealed in that freaking leak video or leaks that happened like two weeks ago or, or something happened. All characters has been confirmed. All of them. Now Nintendo has to officially confirm them because I'm pretty sure that's what tomorrow's the Treehouse uh, uh, Nintendo Direct is going to be about. A lot of people are thinking the same thing as I am, but hey, I never know. I'm, not, I'm probably not even going to watch it because, well... I'm probably going to see it all on YouTube anyways. So. <sighs> there's two things. There's two things that I really want to talk about Smash. Now. No, three things really, but this is going to be a side thing really fast. I'm still not getting why Dr. Mario and Dark Pit are characters. Same thing in a way as Lucenia, but I'm not getting why. I'm totally not getting why at all. But the thing is, I haven't seen how Dark Pit, Dr. Mario, or all that much as much, even I saw from the trailers of uh, Lucenia being played. Like, how are they, you know, played? For sure, Dark Pit and Dr. Mario, I have no idea, but at least I have some extent to Lucenia, oh, sorry, Lucenia, Lucenia from Fire Emblem Awakening on how she actually plays out. But the thing is, once I see them play, like, 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 Chosen, I want to see that. I'm going to probably look it up on YouTube eventually, but, but still, I'm going to eventually see how they are played. And I'm going to see how they are, you know, different from Mario to Dr. Mario and Pit to Dark Pit. Or Pit 2, if I'm going to call them that. But seriously, <sighs> those are just two characters. Why would you think, you would, you would think there would be freaking... Cost, cust, cust, uh, custom, 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 freaking costumes, you know, alternate costumes, alternate color selections. Because the next thing I want to talk about, you're going to see the perfect example when I'm talking about this in a second. Uh, but I didn't get why, I don't get why Dr. Mario is not just Mario, honestly. Alright, same with Pit, Dark Pit, sorry. Um, okay, now this is a good example of some of those. Samus. She can look exactly like Dark Samus. There is Almar that if you change his freaking color, you know, his color costume thing, he looks exactly like Alf. Like, literally, looks and is Alf. The freaking thing is Alf from Pikmin 3. And then freaking, who else is there? Ah, uh, my god. Okay, uh... we're at this moment. I can't remember this moment. But, it's, I don't get why they just do it like that. I don't get why. Now, here's the biggest one. The biggest one. When you go to Bowser Jr., which is confirmed for Smash, not officially, but it is confirmed. When you go to his... Uh, you know, changing his costume, changing his alternate color. This is the best example of actually using 
that palette swap model thing. This is the best example. When you change the palette swap color thing for Bowser Jr., he doesn't just change his color. He doesn't. No. He gets his brothers and sisters into the game. So we got the Koopa Kids. We got Wendy, Iggy, freaking Lemmy, freaking... I don't even know how many there is. Roy is probably freaking... There's, there's that bitch. And then freaking... I just said Lemmy. Wendy. I don't know. This is all of them. All of them. Okay, I don't remember all the names right at the top of my head. But it's just like... So why can't you do this with Pit and Dr. Mario? Why? I have, like, like, honestly, if they play totally different, then it's fine. But I have not seen them get played yet. I have not seen gameplay of them. Now, if you're watching this, uh, and you, there is a video on it, please have it in the description below, because I really, really, really like to see that freaking gameplay style of Dark Pit and Dr. Mario. So, like I said, every single character that was leaked, confirmed for Smash Brothers for the 3DS is confirmed. Is. All of them. Now, of course, there's some characters. I'm still curious where are they gone. Of course, there's Ice Climber, Snake, Lucas. Uh, I don't really care that much for Wolf, but a little bit on Wolf. And, um, I think, in a way, Mune too, in a way. Because, well, we got Jigglypuff back. We got Jigglypuff. She's back. So this is the fourth game. We got the four original guys, a lockable characters from the original Smash, back into Smash Brothers. That's nice. We got Luigi, Captain Falcon, Ness, and Jigglypuff. I, I love that. Also, I honestly haven't even seen anyone pick Jigglypuff yet. But hey, whatever. But I think they should have seriously done that. Now, we could have done the same thing with Pikachu. We could have done, like, fucking, if you want to play as Pikachu, just play as Pichu. You know what I'm fucking saying? It's fucking something like that, dude. And, like, we can finally get Daisy in there. It's like, oh, hey, let's just switch out Peach for Daisy. Color swap. You know, just freaking... We could do that stuff. Why can't they just do that? <sighs> Why can't they just do that, dude? Oh, my God. And in a way, I know a lot of people are going to say the same thing with Link. There's Link, and then there's Young Link. Or, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, Link and Young Link. And then there could have just been two Link by himself, and or, or maybe all together as one. Like, you pick Link, and then you're Young Link, and or two Link all in one actual character as spot roster for just straight up Link. <sighs> sorry, I just kind of get in there. Like, I just don't get it. Like, maybe Wolf can just fucking be in a color swap for freaking... Fox, like he could be seriously be in there for Fox, because he's basically the same as for a fucking gun, basically. <sighs> I don't get why I can't he think of this. And, and 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 my original idea, in a way, to have Pokemon trainer still be in there, in a way, my personal idea. My friends think it's smart. I think it's smart because it's my idea, but it might not be smart. But hey, well here it is. I have spoken about this before on a freaking vlog before in the past, but I don't remember what vlog. I won't even know, because it's probably been a year since I have spoken about this topic, but just about Pokemon Trainer and alone. Now, my original idea was to get Pokemon Trainer back with Charizard, Ivysaur, and Squirtle. Now, we could then go to Color Swap and use the same thing as in change the Pokemon for each uh, generation. There's two, three, four, five, and six now. So, for second gen, we can have, like, fucking Cyndaquil, or, or, I don't know, who's freaking, uh, I don't know, it'd probably be like, uh, it'd probably be like, somehow it'd be like a freaking Typhlosion, maybe, or Cyndaquil. Well, cool up. Well, actually, fire type is probably all noticeable. For Chikorita, it's basically just Chikorita or Bayleaf. And for Totodile, it's just Totodile or Crocodile. Or not Crocodile. Uh, or Alligator. So, whatever. And then the third gen, we could get freaking uh, Mudkip to Grovile. 
and Blaziken. See, easy. That was easy right there because we already know the main evolution for them. And then it's freaking what else? Fourth gen. Okay, we got Chimchar, Turtwig, and Pimplop. Okay, so we got, okay. Uh, probably Turtwig. Maybe. Uh, what should we think about this for a second? Um, maybe Chimchar. And then there's Empoleon and then Grottle. Yeah, I think that'll work, maybe. And then freaking 5th Gen. Why is 5th Gen so blurry for me right now? Tup, Tupig, Oshawott, and freaking Snivy. Okay, we can get Tupig. Because no one likes his evolutions. And then for Snivy, we can get the second evolution. And then freaking Oshawott can just been the third or second or whatever just whatever you know and the six can do the same thing for sure we're all gonna get the freaking third evolution for uh freaking uh d watt d watt d watt for freaking uh, froki god i'm just i'm losing it right now froki and then there's Fennekin and Chestnut. <laughs> it's, it's something like Chestnut. Hold on. It's Chespin. There you go. Chespin. Whatever. You know, it's like whatever, dude. So many opportunities just lost. I just, just seriously, I'll, honestly, come on. So many opportunities lost. <sighs> okay. Before I get off topic, which, hold on. Oh my god, 12 minutes talking about this. Before I get off Smash, which is one little thing I want to talk about after Smash. After all my complaining and ranting and saying who's confirmed and whatever, the biggest thing is probably going to be the title of this, of this video. Sorry. The final Smashes for Bowser Jr., or the Koopa Kids, if you want to call them too, and this final smash for Duck Hunt Dog, which is confirmed. <laughs> I've finally seen it for the first time. And Duck Hunt Dog is really, well, interesting. Really actually thought of, like, like thought out. Very, like, wow, good. Not just some stupid thing. And then... Bowser Jr., uh, it's a smart idea, but it doesn't look that cool, but hey, whatever. Okay, but this is it. Let's have a Bowser Jr., because that's the one I don't think is that cool. So Bowser Jr. slash your Koopa Kids, when they get to Final Smash, doesn't matter who you're playing as, just, just the Final Smash can do the exact same thing. When you activate that Final Smash, you turn into Shadow Mario, okay? Shadow Mario with his paintbrush, and then he just flies up into the flies upwards somewhere on the screen and it makes a big ass freaking X in the entire freaking screen. Now, here's my idea. Why is it an X? Why is it an X? It would have been way better if it was actually the graffiti, the M with the like two smiley faces eyes or something on top of the M. From Super Mario Sunshine, of course. That's what the Final Smash is based on. I don't know why they didn't do it like that. They just straight up an X. What does the X have to do? Is that going to remind me of Space... Subspace... 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 Yeah, Sesame. Subspace... Subspace... Emissary, somehow? No. No. It's just an X. I don't think it has anything it would do with it. Nothing. I really would just prefer the freaking red M with the smiley face on the entire screen. That would make more sense than a freaking X. <sighs> then the next one is the most interesting and awesome thing. It's a cutscene. Sm uh, smash. Super, uh, smash. Final Smash. When Duck Hunt Dog gets his Final Smash and activates it. Now, I'm not too sure if he has to touch the person or whatever, but... 
it wasn't too clarified, but whatever. But when he does it, the character he does it on, or character, I'm not sure if it's more than one. It's a it's a cutscene, and like a bunch of standy gun people pop up, and but not just randomly standy gun people. They're standy gun people from the game Hogan's Alley, which was released for the Nintendo Entertainment System, just like Duck Hunt. You know, with the zapper, any zapper you shoot at the TV with an with the freaking RCT TV, and that's how it worked. I thought it was really fucking awesome. They brung back Hogan's Alley, which a lot of people has never really played. I own it, but I thought it was just interesting. Belong, belong belief. I thought it was interesting as. As I haven't seen Nintendo reference them in so long, it was it was nice to see them again. I like how they're trying their best to combine a lot of smashes or final moves or just anything with video games as well, like doing with Pac-Man and Mega Man and stuff. But hey, that's cool. I'm just gonna say. But honestly, I think I, th I seriously think I have to wait for Dr. Mario and Dark Pit to see their movesets and the final smashes. And then I can give them my final impressions on those two characters. Now, I haven't really, you know, really been waiting for the damn game. Of course, everyone's been waiting in North America, but some people got a Japanese 3DS for some god reason. But hey, whatever. Now... But just say, I'm really disappointed Snake is not in there by Konami, of course. And I'm really disappointed that Ice Climber is not in there for some reason. I really don't get why they're not in there, honestly. And where's Lucas? Where was Lucas? Freaking Lucas, man. I just don't get what they're doing. Dark Pit and Dr. Mario and saying just the three biggest ones I'm not understanding why they're in. Krom had a bigger chance to be in there. He did. He does still. Dark Pit, Dark Pit, yeah, he's cool. I mean, I would rather pick Dark Pit than Pit myself, but but it doesn't make sense in the Smash Brothers community in case he's totally different. I would have picked, honestly, Magnus and made Dark Pit into a color swap for Pit. And Dr. Mario comes off for Mario and make Dr. Mario like Waluigi or frick some other person, dude. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Don't get it. Now, there was something I wanted to talk about as well today, but I think today's going to be a Smash Brothers episode. Now, the thing I want to talk about, I wanted to talk about it's something about the PSP um, download service, PSN Network for the PSP. But I'll tell you that honestly tomorrow because I seriously think this is going to be a Smash Brothers vlog. Because <laughs> I, I just don't want to jump into something that's totally random at the last moment into the vlog. But <sighs> Sorry, I had to get into there. Had so much rant, so much discussion, so much anything just to talk about for in the game, dude. Okay. Okay. I just don't get why they made those characters in there. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. They could have put Starfy. They could have put. They could have put in freaking. I don't know. Fucking who else could they put in other than Starfy, dude? They could have put Ray from Custom Robo. They could have put. Uh, they could have put Skull Kid, dude. They could have put Skull Kid. Now, as well, all these characters are for assist characters, but they could have. Come on, honestly, dude. Pal Lady Palutena is her own character. She was a Final Smash in the last game. Little Mac, he wasn't his character in the last game. Now he's an actual character. Uh, 
Dark Pit. He was a color swap for Peak Six. Now he's his own character. So with Dr. Mario, man. I want to know why he put back in Dr. Mario if he was taken out from Brawl. I just have... I want to know why. I want to know what's going through Sor... Miss Sakahiro Sakurai from Sora so much. Why did he put him back in? Why? Why? So many questions. So many things to be answered. Honestly, if we're... I would say, like, if freaking Klonoa or some shit would have a better chance to get in there, or Bomberman from Hudson Soft or something, dude, just... I don't get it. Frogger. <laughs> Big six, dude. If I'm just straight up just saying Nintendo characters, freaking... Samurai Guru, he should have been a freaking character. There's so many people that could have been a... Oh. Crystal from Star Fox could have been a character. And yet, nothing. Nothing. <sighs> okay. That's really what I want to talk about today. Recap. Just, 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 just recap this right here fast. Right fast. I, 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 want, I feel like I want to talk more about it, but I want to relax, and uh, do some stuff before anything. Anyways, recap. Duck Hunt Dogs Final Smash. Hogan's Alley characters. is badass right there. Uh, Bowser Jr.'s Final Smash. He turns into Shadow Mario and makes an X on screen, which should have been seriously the Shadow Mario uh, logo. The Koopa Kids are in Super Smash Brothers 4. And what the fuck is a so fucking so I don't know. I give up. I give up. I give up, dude. I give up, dude. I just I give up right now. I give up right now on so many things. I'm 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 both angry, disappointed happy a little bit interested confused annoyed I have so many mixed opinions on the freaking game right now I'm still gonna buy it I am but I have so many mixed opinions I don't even know what to even say right now other than what I just said Now, there's one last thing I wanted to talk, say, that I did see uh, Game Explain talk about who should have been in the next Smash about a month and a half ago, or something, or two, I don't know exactly, but there was a possibility I never really thought of until these Koro, no, wasn't the Koro, the Gamatsu leak. There's still two characters, well not two, one character that was announced on the Gamatsu League as a playable character, but has not been shown or revealed any way possible yet. And then there's one character that I would really like to see, because actually makes really good point of it from Game Explain and everything else, but the one character for the Gamatsu Meek Sorry, the Gumatsu leak that still has not been announced is the chorus men from Rhythm 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 Heaven or Rhythm Heaven Fever. And the game explain person from Pokemon, which been a, a really interesting choice if it wasn't Jigglypuff coming back, which I knew she was coming back, but I'm thinking it should have been also Sceptile, because we have Fire as in Charizard, we have Water as in Greninja, and to represent the third generation remake, we should have had Sceptile. 
So now a lot of people gonna say, "Oh, I'm losing kid or fucking Marsh Top." Well, first Marsh Top sucks. No one liked him. Only Mudkip. And Blaze again, he would. He is like the favorite of that generation next to Sceptile. But we already have Charizard. And Charizard is just like way, way, way up bigger up there. We all know. We all know. We all know. So Sceptile would have been. You know, right there. The three elemental Pokemon. We got fire, water, and grass. So. And plus, there's still the opportunity of Mewtwo coming back. Somehow. Who knows? Maybe DLC. We never do. But hey, whatever. My name's been Xenia Shuffle. Thank you all for watching this weird vlog. I have no idea what the fuck to even say about this vlog anymore. But anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. See what those games are, because they're games from eBay. And I'll tell you tomorrow about the PSP network shutting down. Alright, so thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.